Hello everyone, welcome back to Sip and Spin. My name is Skylar, and over here is Brittany, and today we are back playing Dragon Age Inquisition! Yes! So last time we just kind of very, like, I mean, it was the beginning of the game, so intro, and we kind of ran around the hinderlands a little bit, and ended with some war table. So now we're just gonna, do you want to go ahead and go to Val Royo and then come back and talk to people? Um, because, like, until we do Val Royo, you're not going to be able to talk to Cullen because he's going to be stuck there. He's mm -hmm. not in his normal speaking spot. Okay. So we, if we do that, then he'll reset to his normal place. Um, or we could just talk to everyone else instead and then just save him for later. Or no. What you thinking? Yeah, we can go ahead and go to Val Royo. Okay. Val Royo. Um... No, that's fine. That and I think some of the war table missions are done, so we'll check in on those. Also. Um, okay, yeah, I should say I do have two mods active currently. One of them is for the war table. So when it says five minutes, that's real time. Have you kept in touch with our friends in Lady Esterly's estate? Several bards will play for her tomorrow night. We will have names soon enough. But it's probably normally more like 15 minutes, but I have a mod that cuts the war table missions time. Mm. Because there are some that take like 24 hours, like literal, and we just don't have time for some Jesus. of those. So yeah. I did, I do have a mod active that cuts the time on the war table just so we can get through the game a little quicker maybe. Yeah. And I have one that's supposed to spark um, companion dialogue when we're traveling more. Mm. Cause sometimes, it gets frozen or it takes a little while. Like it used to take like 15 minutes in between in, uh, conversations. And I was like, that's just too long. <laughs> so I have a mod, baby, get off me. Once again, there is a dog in the room, so. Next yeah. week we won't have the, yeah. the dog. <laughs> the dog. I mean, she'll still be here. She just, <laughs> get rid of her. She just won't be in the room. <laughs> no dogs. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Commander Cullen, with the watchtowers built, we've had advance warning of demon and bandit attacks. The area is safer for both the refugees and the farmers who had fled the nearby fields. Much appreciated, sir. It's good to know that the Inquisition is willing to put in the time to help these people. Corporal Vale. Nice. And, okay. My dear Josephine, I have looked into the matter of your writer. That book, by the way, is truly dreadful and has been panned by every critic in Antiva. The publisher does not know the identity of the writer. They receive manuscripts by courier. I was able to track down the courier, however, who is receiving her page packages from another courier out of Kirkwall. Best of luck, Katrina Valesti? Valis Ka Katarina Valesti? Okay. Sure, let's go with that. Contact Clan Llewellyn, Dallin, and Iran Antishan. It does my heart well to hear that you are safe. Our clan was visited by members of the Inquisition who spoke persuasively of the good work you are doing, as well as the fairness with which our kind have been treated by the Inquisition itself. You know that Clan Llewellyn has little by way of gold, but I give the messenger some of our healing herbs. Oh. As Salis blessed us with abundance in our recent foraging, we would be a distraction if we came to the Inquisition itself, our hunters arguing with the humans as they so easily do. Nevertheless, if you need aid, send word and we are with you. Darath Sheral. Keeper. Aw, it's like home. <laughs> okay, what's this? To whom it concerns, the Tyrion of Hyever wishes to convey our deepest sympathies on the death of D Divine Justinia V. Uh, the Most Holy was incomp incomparable, incomparable in her wisdom and dedication to peace, and we had high hopes that her conclave would succeed. We will hold a vigil in high ever to, in remembrance of Justinia and cordially invite the Inquisition to attend. Um, so, Josephine says we should send a diplomatic attache and some of the Templars who knew the divine. I know this Terran, um, and I knew Justinia. I can't attend, but I could write to him. We have a number of Ferelden officers. We could send an honor guard. Mm. What do you want to do? Let's do Justinia. It's a very diplomatic. It seems good. Diplomacy seems good here. So Josephine. Josephine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, you just confused me for a second, <laughs> but I, I got it. All right. Um... Address a nobleman's concerns. Harold, your inquisition, your, blah, your inquisition says it's for order against chaos, reason and darkness. If you stand by this, come forth and drive the heretics from my lands. They claim to be refugees, but I have seen elves and apostates among them. Filthy savages tearing at our roots. 
Our monarch refuses to send forth armies, and my own knights were decimated in the con at the conclave. I require your aid to return peace to my lands. Prove your loyalty, and I will see you richly rewarded for your faith. Praise the light. I don't want to help him. <laughs> we can take advantage of his raving. My spies can harass the refugees into moving somewhere else to win his favor. We could send a few patrols, but I'd prefer they help the refugees, not this lord. Or Josephine's was, ah, yes, a pariah even among his peers. Let us send a polite refusal and nothing more. <laughs> so you can wait for her if you like that one the best, or we can do one of the other ones. Um, let's take advantage of him. She can, like you know get the refugees like to safety i guess just have them move okay and then we still get the money but it, like Let's see what we have. yeah <laughs> take advantage yeah we'll take advantage of them uh and this is just gather coin so cullen go get us some money <laughs> we have soldiers let them protect caravans and do other honest work for coin all right, all right. okay and now though it is tom to address the chantry in Valroyo. The remaining Chantry clerics have declared the Inquisition heretical. Attempts to gather allies against the breach have been rebuffed, and at this moment we could not step foot into the capital without being attacked by a mob or arrested. We must convince the Chantry to permit us entry into the city so we can show them the Herald of Andraste is not the monster they believe. All right, well, let's do it. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask her. I mean, it may not actually help, but I mean, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm more concerned this won't actually solve any problems. I agree. It just lends credence to the idea that we should care what the Chantry says. I will go with her. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. Okay. Confirm. All right, off we go to Valroyo. The city still mourns. Just a guess seeker, <laughs> but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Beric. My Lady Herald! You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars <laughs> intend to meet We're you. not scary. Only one thing to do, then. We look a little weird, maybe, <laughs> as a collective. Got our mage with not a they shirt wish on, to protect but... protect the people from us? Protect them from me? Protect them from the blasphemous Herald of Andraste, I'd say. <laughs> Surely they cannot think such a thing. Why not? They do. They <laughs> Orders return to the fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. Not after all that's occurred. Mm, this all sounds like trouble. <laughs> so the potential for trouble has increased twofold. Perhaps. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. Uh, the avenue of her reflective thought. Our lady and the actors of her rise and fall. Our message and visage are worth repeating. Uh, beneath, scratched by a vandal. At meeting, a low door frame. <laughs> He's holding his head. Beneath, scratched by a vandal. And his head suddenly weighs too much. 
<laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Scratch by a vandal about his unfortunate hair. An unrelated headache. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who did that? Sandwari Guardsman. The Inquisition is here. Yeah. Along with the Herald of Andraste. Yeah. They say they found the knife here. Oh, okay. The divine's blood. Let her pass. The Inquisition is the Templar's problem. Call me a knife here. Bitch. Templars will stand for us and Elk Valroyo return to morning. <clears throat> Good people of Valroyo, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of her murderer. Well, okay. wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. The Maker would say no elf in our hour of need. I never claimed to be. Like, I'm being so honest. <laughs> like, I... This wasn't me. <laughs> I made no such claim. I wasn't sent here by Andraste or the Maker. I am simply trying to close the breach. It threatens us all. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. What the hell? <laughs> Still yourself. She is beneath us. What? <laughs> So your reaction to that <laughs> confused which one is the confused <laughs> no. none of them <laughs> great i guess sarcastic not here for us then you're not here to deal with the inquisition as if there were any reason to lord seeker lucius it's imperative that we speak with you will not address me Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet. You should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. Okay. Then why are you here? <laughs> if you're not here to help the Chantry, then you just came to make speeches. I came to see what frightens old women so, and to laugh. But Lord Seeker, what if she really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Sorry. Well, charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? So much for Templar help. It doesn't look like we'll be getting the Templars to help us after all. I wouldn't write them off so quickly. 
There must be those in the Order who see what he's become. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. Bell? Excuse me, but is what they're saying real? Mm -hmm. The Inquisition's going to fix the hole in the sky. I'm gonna try. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> We're going to give it a try at least. No one is doing anything. The Chantry is useless. The Templars, Andraste. I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen, your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in days. You want to help the Inquisition? never been part of something this big before, but if your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, I want to help. Alright. Yeah, absolutely. Head to Haven, then. We need good people. I don't know if I'm that, but <laughs> it would be nice to see. Let's be honest. Also, from far away, I thought that was, like, several animals in, like, a dress. <laughs> I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> I was like, Just, uh, Thor Legion style. <laughs> What's that? An arrow with a message? <laughs> scared the mess out of me. <laughs> favors for favors for friends. A message is attached, written in a large, flowing hand and bordered with doodles. People say you're special. I want to help, and I can bring everyone. There's a baddie in Val Royale. Ooh, I hear baddie. he wants to hurt you. Oh. <laughs> have a real baddie. <laughs> have a search. And Not that kind of baddie. And maybe a baddie, though. <laughs> have a search for the red things in the market, the docks, and round the cafe. And maybe you'll meet him first. Bring swords. Friends of Red Ginny. A poor drawing of the locations in the market is attached. Okay. It's a tree. <laughs> Back, I Not me. Not my <laughs> problem. I believe that mess. You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. Invitation, First Enchanter Vivian. You are cordially invited to attend my salon held at the Chateau of Duke Bastien de Gislaine. Yours, Vivian de Fer, First Enchanter of Momensard, Enchanter to the Imperial Court. Sounds it. Okay, um. Go look for the red things, I suppose. Since we're here. The cafe, right? Oh. Not of heroes. Mafrath and sacrifice. Oh, there's a red thing. Favors for favors for friends. A different, simple script on the back of a stable report marked with red paint. Thank you, friends, for helping good lady Karis. Saw those who asked about Harold enter third passage. Could not stay to see next exit. Okay, and the docks. What was the other one? Oh, yeah. Do you feel better now? This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? We did not. Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics are scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just Next don't time, don't them. do some fuck shit. <laughs> if you do not believe you are the maker's chosen, then what are you? I'm just a girl. <laughs> I'm just an elf. <laughs> I'm an elf of the Dalish clans. Nothing more. That is more comforting than you might imagine. I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the maker plans in the days to come. You could still help, I guess. It's not too late. The Chantry could still help us and come out on top. If only that were true. Okay. What's to stop you from trying? We are not looking for a winning horse. We are simply and trying help take to care of the, the fucking the hole in the sky, maybe. Okay, before we go to the docks, look over there. Oh, never mind. I thought I saw a red thing, but I think it was just the fruits. Oh, okay. Yeah. Difficult time for those who have lost. 
Yeah. There it is. A red handkerchief folded around a key with a small hasty scrawl. Key lifted from drunk swearing about Harold. Don't know what door I'm out. My debt is paid. <laughs> Read. The Randy Dowager Quarterly. A waterlogged quarterly missive. A suspect virtue. Virtue. The Randy Dowager welcomes the blooms of spring with the collected... Calipigan curses? Being a scandalous representation of Her Majesty's favored. Caught in flagrant del delectable. So I think this is like a... A Randy newsletter? <laughs> I know, you can also find them in um, Veilguard too. It's funny. The fish? Or the newsletters? The news, the Randy Dowager oh. thing. Okay, now we need to go. Up here for the next one. Red? Red. Famous for famous for friends. A scrap of parchment is hastily torn from an ornate document, stuffed into its hiding space with a large red sock. And we are to and we are to obey well. We meet at three bells to discuss how best to serve the new way. Scrawled below in a misspelled script. Harold, go at time. Praise Andrast. Taken together, the messages reveal a time, a path, and a key to a location on the world map. Okay. Also, our friends can be upgraded. So, what do you want to do for Cassandra? Um, let's see, we can get, we can upgrade one of these. Oh, you did mention you wanted this one before, yes. didn't you? Yes, yeah, okay. I did. The not being flanked, yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's, uh, oh, right, right revival. revival. Yep. yep. Cool. And Varric. Um, we can also get him the cool leaping shot thing we just got. Or... Yeah, we can give him that. Okay. Sweet. And now we can go here. Friend of Virginia. <coughs> so, right, first we have to leave here. If I might have a moment of your time. I don't know, I'm pretty busy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it here. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Hmm. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my Shams. own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. Will you help us? Does that mean the mages will help us? We are willing to discuss it with the Inquisition at least. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my lady Harold. Come, let us return to Haven. We're actually going to a courtyard first. We get jumped by the followers of She. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback! <laughs> Fend off the guards. We got it. Okay. Guards dealt with. Immeasurably. I just I don't followed know some you clues. <laughs> you don't fool me. I'm too important for this to be an accident. My efforts will survive in victories against you elsewhere. Just say what? What is that? 
Ugh. Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits <laughs> always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah! Obey me. Arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see your... And <laughs> you're an elf. Well, hope you're not too elfy. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? What? <laughs> the important thing is... You What's blur. happening? You're the herald thingy. You are also an elf. Some say that, I guess. Who are you? I don't know why they keep saying it. I'm tired of being called that, to be so honest. No idea. I don't know this idiot from manners. My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. Put the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. <laughs> Oh, Sarah. They don't have pants. <laughs> what was this? <laughs> Friends really came through with that tip. No breaches. <laughs> so, Herald of Andraste, you're a strange one. I'd like to join. F first, you have to make sense. Could we take a few moments for sense to reassert itself? Who are you people? I'm not people, but I get what you want. It's like this. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. Sir was a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. Help me what? <laughs> that guy had a conspiracy to attack the Inquisition. Oh, okay. I was so confused. I was like, I don't understand what's happening at all. <laughs> this is an optional um, companion. It's Sarah. Okay. Uh, so you're offering spies? The Inquisition has spies already. Can you add to these professionals? Here's how it is. You important people are up here shoving your cods around. Blah, blah. I'll crush you. I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crush you. <clears throat> Then you've got cloaks and spy kings, like this tit. Or was he one of the little knives, all serious with his little knife? All those secrets, and what gave him up? Some houseboy who don't know shite, but knows a bad person when he sees one. So no, I'm not knifey shiv dark, all hidden. But if you don't listen down here too, you risk your breaches. Like those guards, I stole their... Look, do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, Sarah. I can use you and your friends. Yes! Getting good before you're too big to like. That'll keep your breaches where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these. You have merchants who buy that pish, yeah? Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Herald. This will be grand. That felt like a fever dream. <laughs> I'm oh, good God. So we got Sarah. Okay. Um, I'm still gonna keep everyone <laughs> that I had. She is also a rogue. Um, I personally love her, but she's not for everyone. I just was confused. The whole I'm like, what is going on? She talked so fast. I didn't understand what was happening. That, get used to that. That's her whole shtick. <laughs> I was so glad one of the dialogue options was like, can you make sense, please? Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't under, I don't get it. Okay, I think that's everything here. And since we got the invitation, we'll just go ahead and get another companion. Um, maybe. Oh, do I just have to exit out the doors? Okay. Fine. So, let's go... 
what Vivian has to say. I could have dressed up there. Right? Lady Lavellan, on behalf of the Inquisition. What a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Seeing the same faces at every event becomes so tiresome. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer, or are you here for Duc Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. They exaggerate a bit, I'm sure. Some of those storytellers may have gotten carried away. But only for the best effect. The Inquisition is a ripe subject for wild tales. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. We're restoring peace, dude. The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Thedas. Here comes the outsider, restoring peace with an army. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a woman of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lady, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? I don't care. <laughs> the Marquis doesn't interest me. Do whatever you like with him. Poor Marquis. Issuing challenges and hurling insults like some Ferelden's dog. <coughs> and all dressed up in your Aunt Solange's doublet. Didn't she give you that to wear to the Grand Tourney? To think all the brave chevaliers who will be competing left for Markham this morning. And you're still here. Were you hoping to sate your damaged pride by defeating the Herald of Andraste in a public duel? Or did you think her blade could put an end to the misery of your failure? Run along, my dear. Do give my regards to your aunt. <laughs> I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne. First enchanter of Mont-Simard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Uh, a pleasure to meet you. Charmed, Lady Vivian. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the Chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. So you said early game, I can flirt just however I want? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and flirt, why not? Is your interest in the Inquisition Madame de Fer, or is it more personal? <laughs> Aren't you charming? <laughs> it's cool. professional, of course. <laughs> okay, welcome aboard. Come on. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. Another one. She's obviously a mage. <laughs> I gathered being a first enchanter and all. <laughs> um, typically an ice and lightning mage. Yeah, if you haven't figured it out, we'll have three of each um, type. Of companion so we'll oh, have okay. three rogues three mages and three um, warriors gotcha so we just need one more mage one more rogue and two more warriors okay 
Yeah, I keep looking up at the poster every time we... <laughs> Get someone new. Yeah, so found Sarah, found Vivian. Oh. Yeah, there's Solis, Josephine. I don't know who that guy in the mustache is. <laughs> the mustache. Which one? There's two. Leaning back in the chair. Oh. That's our other... Oh, that's that guy right there. <laughs> My coaster. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I don't think we met this guy either. Mm -mm, not yet. It needs better horses. I heard Seeker Pentecost might Is that a hello? It's an elk. Oh. What kind of what kind of a horse mount do you want? Okay, what we have horses, drascal draculisks, hearts, or exotics. So for the exotics we have the bog unicorn. Mm -hmm. Looks like Oh that. my god. <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> the uh, war nug. Oh my god. The giant nug. <laughs> <laughs> or. Honestly, oh, whoops. Who did we shoot? Cullen, ignore that. <laughs> um, this guy with a sword, sword in his Okay, face. that's so terrifying. <laughs> Or we have this guy. Oh, okay. sorry! <laughs> I'm, I'm doing Put too your fast. your bow away! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... Oh, we do have a dress. This guy. Ah! <laughs> don't shoot him! <laughs> <laughs> and our horse. Okay. And a couple of other ones. So this one has, like, armor. Uh-huh. This one, kind of the same coloring as the elk. And then this one is also an armor. Okay. Uh, I kind of want the elk, to be honest. Okay. That looks really cool. Yeah, we get a really pretty elk later on, too. But I, I always go elk also with elven inquisitors, mm -hmm. just because it seems very it seems Dalish. Fitting, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Um, it does, it did, I did, was, I was like, is that a hala? So yeah, it kind of <laughs> yeah. makes sense to go. You think you can have it done by midweek? That when friend needs it. We do have a quest here, so we'll go ahead and knock that out. Mm -hmm. uh, good, I guess. Sturdy and warm. It's perfect. Good. World's gone mad. Stock armor and blades are good against bandits, but we're not fighting bandits. My gear will see you through demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. So, you need custom work, something special. So this is how you, you can like craft your armor and weapons and stuff. Um, Do you have any designs? If I want something, what can you make? Start simple, something to keep you safe. Take a look at it on the table there, and we can talk. You'll need materials. We should have what you want just outside. Cool. All right. Goodbye. Right. Alright, so that's where we do all of that. Just gonna take some of your stuff, don't mind mm -hmm. me. Um, you wanna talk to Cassandra and Cullen since we're over here? Sure. Alright. Cassandra's taking it out on this mannequin. I will save in case you don't like a decision that's made. <laughs> okay. Are you... you're impressive. You're kind of a force of nature, aren't you? When I need to be. It's impressive. You flatter me. I'm trying. Did I do the right thing? What I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool. And they may be right. What do you believe? What does your faith tell you? I believe you are innocent. I believe more is going on here than we can see. And I believe no one else cares to do anything about it. They will stand in the fire and <laughs> complain that it is hot. You're here. But is this the maker's will? I can only guess. You have to do it. Um... 
I can't remember if in this one if these are extras, and then we can still do one of these. Oh, okay. But I, I don't know though. But we can you just you can you had to do it. Yeah. You didn't have any choice, didn't I? My train is always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. I see what must be done, and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. I cannot afford to be so careless again. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Can't say I'm not grateful to hear that. I can be harsh, I know. You've said you don't believe you're chosen. Does that mean you also don't believe in the Maker? I believe in Elven Gods. <laughs> I'm Dalish. I believe in our own gods. And there's no room among your gods for one more? God, I we have so many. <laughs> no, we don't have room for one more. <laughs> we're, it's a full house. We're topped up. <laughs> Anything else to say? It occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? Tell her. My clan never stayed in one place for long, though we primarily roamed the free marches. Oh? I didn't think your people roamed that far north. But clearly I'm mistaken. I'm told some members of your clan might still be alive. I would hope so. Back? We just talked to them. <laughs> <clears throat> Eventually, perhaps. I might. Once this is done. It will not be the same once you do. Investigate? What do you mean by that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell her about yourself. <laughs> I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. You're hot. I <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I'd like us to be closer. Is there any harm in us becoming a little closer? Plenty. Oh. <laughs> is that right? Ah! <sighs> as you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentagast, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lady. Okay. Fine. I, I, that's all for now. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. Sorry. <laughs> when you become better friends, she loosens up more. <laughs> Just gotta make her trust you. All right, Cully boy. You there. There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. I love how I just walk through all the sword swinging. <laughs> some haven and some pilgrims. No fear. <laughs> None made quite the entrance you did. It wasn't really my choice. <laughs> that wasn't my idea. I'd be concerned if it was. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. Do you trust in the Inquisition? You left the Templars for this. You believe <coughs> the Inquisition can work? I do. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. I like your enthusiasm. No, but if you have one prepared, I'd love to hear it. 
<laughs> Another time, perhaps. I, uh... <clears throat> Still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. Okay, show off. <laughs> Trying to impress me. Let's work. He got so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it gets flustered very easily around you. It's cute. Is there something you need? Uh, I think there's more opportunities to flirt with him if you do one of these. Okay, uh, tell me about yourself. I could get to know you better. We are working together after all. What would you like to know? All right. Where are you from? I grew up in Ferrari. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, shortly after the flight. This is the first I've returned in almost ten years. Tell me about Kirkwall. What was Kirkwall like? While I was there, Canari occupied and then attacked the city. The Viscount's murder caused political unrest. Could do that. That didn't happen. Yep. Fell apart. <laughs> he sure did. Yep, she um, did that as well. <laughs> Tell me about the rebellion? What happened between Kirkwall's mages and Templars? You were at the Conclave. You must have heard people speak of it. Yes, but you were there. There was tension between mages and Templars long before I arrived. Eventually, it reached a breaking point. There was fighting in the streets. Abominations began killing both sides. It was a nightmare. How did it end? What happened then? The Templars should have restored all Red Lyrian had driven Knight Commander Merit. Mm -hmm. She threatened to kill Kirk Wall's champion. Turned on her own men. I'm not sure how far she would have gone. Too far. So you opposed her? I stood with the champion against her in the end. I should have seen through Meredith sooner. Oh, that's it. You're away a long time? You haven't seen Ferelden in ten years. Are you glad to be back? I was not sorry to leave at the time. Not expect to return. Now, between the Divine's murder and the breach, I've arrived to find nothing but chaos. Okay. Uh, Barracks from Kirkwall. <laughs> Barracks from Kirkwall. Did you do know each other? I knew he was friends with the champion of Kirkwall, but little else. We've spoken more since I joined the Inquisition. Largely <laughs> That sounds about right. <laughs> spend too much time with a serious expression on my face, and it's bad. Barrick's nickname for Cullen is Curly. Ah. <laughs> Tell me about hair. the Blight. You were in Ferelden during the Blight. Did you find Ooh. Dark Form? No. I was stationed at Ferelden's Circle Tower. The Circle had troubles of its own. I remained there during the Blight. What happened at the Circle? What happened at the Circle Tower? You who survived the Blight had fond memories of that time. I would prefer not to speak. Okay. I guess that's it. I'll let you return to your work. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Is that it? Yes. So yeah. do I need to do the tell me about Templar life? Oh, yes, it is that one actually. I remember the line now. I'd like to know more about the Templars. If you need insight into what the Order is doing now, I'm afraid I can't offer more than you already know. Anything else, I will answer as best I can. Why? I think it's this one oh, in specific, me. but if you want to ask any of them, you can. Okay, uh, tell me about their vows. Do Templars take vows? I swear to the Maker to watch all the mages. That sort of thing. There's a vigil first. You're meant to be at peace during that time, but your life is about to change. When it's over, you give yourself to a life of service. That's when you're given a filter. Your first draft of Lyria. Well, there's Templars. We are not to seek wealth or acknowledgement. Our lives belong to the Maker and the path we have chosen. Ah, there it is. <laughs> are there vows of celibacy? A life of service and sacrifice. Our Templars also <coughs> to give up physical temptations. Physical? Why? Why would you? That's not expected. Templars can marry, although there are rules. And the order must grant permission. 
Some may choose to give up more proof of their devotion, but it's not required. What about you? Have you? Me? I, um, uh, no, I've taken no such vows. Make his breath. <laughs> Speak of something else. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's all I wanted to know. Thank you. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. <laughs> I always like to make you sweat. I love flirting with ex Templars. <laughs> Talk to Barrett. <laughs> so, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. Oh, this, <laughs> this is all bullshit. None of this shit should have happened. You don't know the half of it. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. I can't believe it either, <laughs> to be honest. I'm still not sure I believe any of this is really happening. If this is all just the maker winding us up, I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Need something? Ah! I have questions about Hawk. <laughs> I read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. What happened to Anders? What happened to the mage who destroyed the Kirkwall Chantry? The book never said. He fled Kirkwall with the mages from the Circle. Stayed with them a while. But he had to move on. Somehow a lot of mages blamed him for making them live as fugitives. I don't know where he is now, and I don't want to know. Investigate? Orsino's fate made no sense. In the book, you say that first enchanter Orsino turned himself into a giant monster made of corpses. How Why did he disapprove? I'm just asking questions. <laughs> like an expert on magical weirdness to you? Well, I can't tell you how. Why? All I can say is he was desperate. Investigate. You made up the Arishok fight? There's no way Hawk really could have killed the Arishok. It would have started a war with the Kunari. I was told later that the Kunari disavowed his actions. Apparently the Arashok didn't get permission before he attacked Kirkwall and the Kuhn didn't want another exalted march. When they finally sent a ship to call <coughs> the Red Dreadnought away, they just said, We will never speak of this again. As far as I can tell, that's the Kuhn's version of an apology. Where are Hawk's friends? Where are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Meryl decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the mages and Templars, so far. I guess she has plenty of practice avoiding stupid human battles with her old Dalish clan. Fenris has kept himself busy, hunting down the Tevinter slavers who came south to prey on the refugees. I'm not sure exactly where he is at the moment. <laughs> I usually follow the trail of corpses, though. Isabella went back to the raiders. She's calling herself an admiral now. I don't know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Might be the same thing, honestly. Sebastian went back to Starkhaven. I'm sure he's boring <laughs> all sorts of people there. Hawk's little brother was off on some warden's business near the Anderfell's border last I knew. Aveline is still guard captain. I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. <laughs> Yeah, I thought Hawk and Anders left together. <laughs> he might just be lying <laughs> to protect them. Um, I suppose we'll just talk to everyone. 
Sarah. 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 Stopping wars should earn more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and mages need to be sat down. Uh, there's more going on? It's not just a war between those two. Well, sure, the sky has a hole in it. But I can't put an arrow in that. Well, I have. Doesn't come down. <laughs> that's weird. And that's the point, right? It's weird and right there. But they still want to punch each other. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. We'll help them all see. That's why we're here. To help guide everyone back from the brink. The religious ones tell you that. That's important, right? But don't make it all about that. Seems like believing too hard is what got everyone here. And here is stupid. And smells of horse. Really, what everyone needs is to get everything back to normal and proper and profitable. Sound good to you, old touch lady Harold? You saying sounds very good. I think I'll enjoy having you around, Sarah. I hope you'll feel the same. Kinda, suppose. Maybe. See you, Harold. Harold. I have to do something about that. I'm literally just gonna flirt with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Chosen of Andraste, a blessed hero sent to save us all. I'm not a hero. <laughs> I've no interest in being a hero. All I want is to find a way to seal this breach. Pragmatic, but ultimately irrelevant. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars, both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. A good one. <laughs> I'm gonna do this just because okay. I know it gets. You get approval with him when you ask questions. Okay. For just a little hint. What do you mean, ruins yeah. and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. He likes you Every creeps. battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. How can you sleep there? You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. It's impressive. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. Cassandra has been accommodated, but you understand my caution. Mm, you can trust me. You came here to help, Solus. I won't let them use that against you. How would you stop them? However I had to. Thank you. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. Open heroes. The apothecary. Hello. <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Again. We've met. I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. 
Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those way, though. Oh, is this where we, like, came You're to get welcome. treated after we passed out or something? Well, he's the healer. He's the apothecary. So gotcha. he would have been tending to us. Ah, uh, well, thank you. I didn't realize. Thank you. Yeah, well, you can pay me back by fixing the world. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. It's not that seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually... Do that. So, Need any help? Is there anything I can do to help? <coughs> We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the Conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. Okay. Farewell. Upgrade potions here. And then we can steal. <laughs> steal. Uh, patient observation. So I'm pretty sure this was about us. Um, pulse normal, breathing normal, still unresponsive, careful drop, feed of prep, elf root extract to hasten her recovery, a lot of thrashing, mutters about too many eyes. Something about the gray. Encouraging? I don't think so. <laughs> Did you have anything else to say? I can't. Closing the breach is our primary goal. You did. But I hope we might also discover what was used to create it. Any artifact of such power is dangerous. The destruction of the Conclave proves that much. You think it survived? You don't think <coughs> whatever created the explosion was destroyed in the blast? You survived, did you not? The artifact that created the breach is unlike anything seen in this age. I will not believe it destroyed until I see the shattered fragments with my own eyes. I agree. We would do well to try to recover whatever created the breach. Liliana's people have scoured the area near the blast and found nothing. Whatever the artifact was, it is no longer there. In any case, did you need me for anything? Investigate. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> I'd like to know more about you, Solas. I respect you. You're an apostate, yet you risked your freedom to help the Inquisition. Not the wisest course of action when framed that way. I appreciate the work you're doing, Solas. I just wanted to know more about you. I'm sorry. With so much fear in the air. What would you know of me? Do you work with anyone? Have you always traveled and studied alone? Not at all. I have built many lasting friendships. Spirits of wisdom, possessed of ancient knowledge, happy to share what they had seen. And spirits of purpose helped me search. Even wisps, curious and playful, would point out treasures I might have missed. Wisdom and purpose? I don't know of any spirits by those names. They rarely seek this world. When they I remember end, justice. <laughs> I remember justice really well. Wisdom and purpose are too easily twisted to pride and desire. What's the tone indicator on those or demon name? Oh. Um. That's amazing. I'm impressed that you could become friends with spirits. Anyone who can dream has the potential. Few ever try. My friends comforted me in grief and shared my joy. Yet, because they exist without form as we understand it, the Chantry declares that spirits are not truly people. Is Cassandra defined by her cheekbones and not her faith? <laughs> Varric by his chest hair and not his wit. I, didn't, I enjoy getting to know you. You have an interesting way of looking at the world, Solas. I try. And that isn't quite an answer. I look forward to helping you make new friends. That should be... well... That isn't quite an answer either. <laughs> Investigate. <laughs> uh, why study the Fade? What made you start studying the Fade? up in a village to the north. There was little to interest the young man, especially one gifted with magic. But as I slept, the spirits of the Fade showed me glimpses of wonders I had never imagined. They treasured my dreams. Being awake out of the Fade became troublesome. That sounds dangerous. Did spirits try to tempt you? No more than a brightly colored fruit is deliberately tempting you to eat it. I learned how to defend myself from more aggressive spirits and how to interact safely with the rest. A 
learned how to control my dreams with full consciousness. There was so much I wanted to explore. What's the tone indicator on uh let's just investigate? Where have you studied? You said you traveled to many different places. This world, or its memory, is reflected in the faith. Dream in ancient ruins, you may see a city lost to history. Some of my fondest memories were found in crumbling cities, long picked dry by treasure seekers, the best of the battlefields. Spirits press so tightly on the veil that you can slip across with but a thought. Which battlefields? Any place in particular? I dreamt Dostagar. I witnessed the brutality of the Darkspawn and the valor of the Ferelden warriors. I saw Alistair and the hero of Ferelden hey. light the signal fire, and Loghain's infamous betrayal of Caelan's forces. Tell me what happened. <laughs> I've heard the stories. It would be interesting to hear what it was really like. That's just it. In the Fade, I see reflections created by spirits who react to the emotions of the warriors. One moment. I see heroic wardens lighting the fire, and a power-mad villain sneering as he lets King Caelan fall. The next, I see an army overwhelmed, and a veteran commander refusing to let more soldiers die in a lost cause. And you can't tell which is real? It is the fate. They are all real. Oh. Should I keep asking about the fate? Uh, what made you maybe. start studying the fate? Okay. I grew up in a village to the that has a treasured my dream. No more. I learned I learned how to control my dreams with full consciousness. There was so much I gather you didn't spend your entire life dreaming. Eventually I was unable to find new areas in the fade. Why? Two reasons. First, the fade reflects the world around me. Unless I travel. You are so loud. I'll never Sky. find anything new. Second, the fade reflects and is limited by our imagination. Find interesting areas. One must be interested. Is that why you're here? Is this why you joined the Inquisition? I joined the Inquisition because we were all in terrible danger. If our enemies destroy the world, I would have nowhere to lay my head while dreaming of the fate. I hope that works. I wish you luck. Thank you. In truth, I've enjoyed experiencing more of life to find more of the fate. How so? You train to flick a dagger or an arrow to its target. The grace with which you move is a pleasing sight. Then. You have chosen a path whose steps you do not dislike because it leads to a destination you enjoy. As have I. You like my side benefits? Yeah, you like my side benefits? Hold on. So you're suggesting I'm graceful? No. No. I am declaring it. It was not a subject to take. <laughs> you smooth motherfucker. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I actually have to go and run away. We'll talk later. I need to go talk to Cullen. I need to be the one who embarrasses him. <laughs> you can't do that to me. Ah, uh, I love that line. If you're a mage, um, the line is, you train to do something, like, uh, you're able to, like, dominate stuff. It would be interesting to see you dominated basically and like it's a whole like dominate like the word being dominated is used and it's like oh my god i think the rogue one is my favorite though but the 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 major one is uh is good too okay i think your quest so i'll talk to you if you clean hess can get your bucket in a broom anyone calls you knife here come to me oh you're her thren inquisition quartermaster i'm doing what i can to this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. Mm, how do I fill special orders? If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials and we'll jot down what you found. Okay, tell me about requisitions. Mm -hmm. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials. So I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site. Maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. Okay. Farewell. Make her go with you. I don't want to make her anywhere with me. This <laughs> shit has caused me so much trouble. It's crazy. <laughs> Blessed are the peacekeepers. The champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous. The lights in the shadow. 
In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood? To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? I can't speak for Andraste. <laughs> I speak for no one but myself. And I have no answers for you. You probably don't even worship the Maker. No, Lucky. I don't. He asks a lot. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had. And he let her die. You could blame her killers. Uh, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. You're going through it, aren't you, Lilia? <laughs> Mind Dominus? I'm not really the best person to talk to. Doesn't the Chantry have people for this? <laughs> so I should let a priest comfort me? No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. Remember when you were so happy and sweet <laughs> <laughs> in Origins? Oh, 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 okay. You can talk to her. <laughs> so it's true. Butler has stand on us. I hope my hunch was wrong. You knew him well? Not as well as I thought. Show me the report. There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He's killed Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. We were friends once. So stop Elena from killing the traitor. Encourage Leon to kill the traitor or do not interfere at all. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. This ain't, this ain't my business. <laughs> it will be done. I'm sorry you had to see that. Trust me. Everything I do is to protect our interests. Now if you're happy... I have more work to do. You want to have... Reports of fate rifts and demons keep coming. The people are terrified and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. Um, I'm pretty sure if you do this one or this one, um, we'll get to talk about Gleam. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Let's talk about you. Tell me about your past. What did you do before you worked for the Divine? I was a bard, an Olesian spy for many years. For a time, I also served a small cloister in Lothary. After the Blight, the Divine called on me to oversee her personal network. <laughs> I'd like to be a bard. <laughs> no. <laughs> Got any stories? Bards tell tales. I bet you tell some good ones. There are plenty of tales in the library. Perhaps you should look for them there. Okay. <laughs> I should leave you to your work. We can always talk later. Yes? That's the You're well connected? You seem to know a great many people. I have made friends, and on occasion enemies. It's unavoidable. Ah, you met the hero of Ferelden. You have a history with the warden who ended the blight, don't you? I count her among my closest friends. She's Aww. probably the only person I trust completely. That's so sweet. Her some time. She just disappeared. I try not to think about what might have happened. 
Her and Zeverin are off living happily ever after because it's been so many years now. I think Gleam is probably healed from the death of Alistair. <laughs> and she and Zeverin are just... Yes, it has been a long time now since poor Alistair died. Uh, so that's where she is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Liliana. She's happy. <laughs> Do you want to ask either of these? Yeah, did you not hawk? They say you spent some time in Lothering. Did you know the champion? We spoke a few times. I seldom left the Chantry, and we never became more than casual acquaintances. I saw more of the Hawk twins. Bethany in particular. She would spend time in meditation at the Chantry, and she seemed to like my stories. The other one, the young man, <laughs> he was a little surly. Yeah. I did encounter the champion again later in Kirkwall. Yeah. Those were terrible times. Why were they terrible? Was this when the Chantry was destroyed? No, that happened later. But even then, the news coming out of Kirkwall was disheartening. There were some in Val Rayo who wanted the Divine to declare an exalted march on Kirkwall. Justina sent me there to see if that could be avoided, to gather evidence to calm those agitating for war. I guess it didn't matter in the end. We can continue this conversation later. You know where I am. Oh, do I have a requisition? I do! That's right, I have all the keys. Or the locks. We made prisoner cages! Oh god! Great. The Inquisition can use that. <laughs> okay. Might as well. Oh. Oh, okay. Acquired prisoner cages. It's good you've returned. We heard it. Oh, better. right. So you heard. <laughs> My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses as well as the capital. At least we made contact. <laughs> At least we know how to approach the mages and Templars now. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True. He has taken the order somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. We should meet the mages. I could at least find out what the mages want. No doubt what they've always wanted. Support for their cause. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. There's always danger. So it will be dangerous. I've been in danger since I walked out of the Fade. If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. <laughs> Same. There is one other matter. Seven God, months what now? <laughs> the Grey Wardens of Ferelden. Oh Bannock. no! I sent word to those in Orlais. They have also disappeared. What do you mean? Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. That sounds suspicious. That does sound odd. I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Possible Grey Warden involvement? Dun dun dun. Wow. Touch didn't see that coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this? Oh. Crap. Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. Identify yourself. <laughs> Who are you, soldier? Comitius Aklasi with the Bulls Chargers Mercenary Company. We mostly work out of Orlais and Navarra. 
We've got word of some Davinta mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bull's charges can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. Investigate. Why give us this message? Why did your commander send us this information? Iron Bull wants to work for the Inquisition. He thinks you're doing good work. We welcome the help. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. I'm tired of coast, to be so <laughs> honest. No more coast. The wounded coast was... <laughs> okay, uh, what was I doing? Iron Bull, Storm Coast. Right. Then I might as well talk to you too. Talk to I everyone else. I met an Elven Mage earlier. Solus, I believe he was called. Yes. I admit I was surprised. I didn't expect to find Mages. She's beautiful. <laughs> oh. Tell me, why were you at the Divine Conclave? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mages should be freed. Mages deserve the same freedom oh. as anyone else. I hear that so often. It must be a great comfort to the common folk is pro to know that survival is Interesting. compared to our freedom. Hmm. I'm so sure like that when? means everything better. Yeah, kind of. Justinia's death has shattered the balance of power in Thedas. If it is not restored quickly, countless lives will be lost. Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. Um, I guess I'll do what I can. This is so I'm much pressure. <laughs> failure is a luxury we cannot afford, my dear. For almost a thousand I'm gonna years, cry. <laughs> the world it was in the hands of the Maker. And now many believe you are the agent of his will. Whatever the truth is, that belief gives you power. Yeah, Origins, you had a blight. You had a goal. You knew what needed to be done. Kill Darkspawn. Kill Archdemon. Prosper. Hawk just wanted to protect Kirkwall, his family, his friends, and survive. The Inquisitor literally has to save the world. It's yeah. a lot. And they didn't ask for it at all. No, I just woke up and now suddenly By I'm the herald of entrusted. Now your hand glows and the world is literally on your shoulders. <laughs> and people think I'm on like... yeah, People think you're holy. Some people think you're the devil. Like, it's a whole thing. <laughs> no one should have that power. I don't want it. Nobody should claim to know the will of the maker. Not me, and not the Chantry. Perhaps nobody should. But if no one leads the way, many will be left behind in darkness. I've stolen enough of your time, my dear. Don't let me keep you. I want a nap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, investigate. Tell me about yourself. I'd like to know more about you, Madame de Vienne. Whatever would you like to know. Where are you from? Your accent's not Orlesian. Where exactly are you from? I am from the Circle, my dear. One's country of origin rarely matters there. But if you must know, I was born in Wycombe in the Free Marches. I was sent to the Ostwick Circle, but I transferred to Mont Simar while still an apprentice. Investigate? How'd you become a courtier? I'm curious how a Circle Mage winds up a courtier. Nobody winds up at court, my dear. It takes a great deal of effort to arrive there. I caught the eye of Duke Bastien de Gisli. Why did I think a courtier was like a, like a many travel, because it, it cur like a cour courtier. Yeah, cour courtier. courtier. I yeah, was getting yeah, yeah, courtier yeah. and courier yeah, 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 like, yeah. confused. I was like, what? I, I see how you would. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what does she mean, the court? I was yeah. like, I thought, I thought you were just like taking letters to people. <laughs> uh, what is a court enchanter? What duties does a court enchanter have? I am tasked with providing assistance to the Empress on arcane matters. Most of my predecessors restricted this to lighting lamps and doing parlor tricks. In such troubled times as these, however, I provide political advice to Her Majesty on the subject of the Mage Rebellion. You married a duke? You're married to the Duke de Ghislaine. <laughs> of course not, my dear. Don't be ridiculous. Marriage is the business of alliance and inheritance. 
I'm Bastian's mistress. Any chance we might. Do you think that you and I might someday? I don't see how that benefits me. Ah, <laughs> fair. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> Literally, there is no benefit whatsoever. <laughs> I'm just me. <laughs> I don't even want to be me. The Inquisition cannot remain in Basilea. If you can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked her life to slow the magic of the bridge. Mistress Lavelan, this is the Marquis Durelion. One of divine is he the one that was in the, the place and the right rightful here? owner of Hale. No. Oh. How do Elion lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. The divine's advisors handed it. Interesting. Considering the inquisition was <coughs> begun by the left and right hands of the divine. I've seen no written records from Sister Liliana or Seeker Pentacus that Justinia approved the Inquisition. If you won't take her at her word, I'm afraid Seeker Pentacus must challenge him to a duel. What? <laughs> it is a matter of honor among the Navarans. Shall I arrange the bout for tonight? No. No. <laughs> Perhaps my reaction to the Inquisition's presence. I love Josephine. <laughs> oh, she, I adore her. <sighs> She's also a really good room. We face a dark time. Gaslight girl boss Divine gatekeep. Justina would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilieu. The Inquisition might stay in the meantime. I don't like relation fashion. The masks freak me out. <laughs> you handled him well. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. Investigate. How'd you become ambassador? May I ask, what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. What's your background? What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orlais. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. I'm glad you're here. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas' politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Yes. <coughs> Good. Oh, okay. Oh. You're Who the are you? <laughs> or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. I hope the Inquisition can restore order soon. They never really wanted to leave this place. My name is Nate. I research demons and other okay. creatures. Seeker, Pentagast, and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. Uh, I found something for you. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there, and the Tranquil and I will examine it. Okay. Greetings. Tell me about yourself. Oh. What did you do before coming Whoops, here? sorry. <laughs> I had the great honor of serving Antiva's crown as ambassador to Orlais. I'm also first in line to become the head of House Montillier, though my siblings attend to our mercantile affairs. Are you doing this for Antiva? How strong are your past loyalties? 
I would never have given up my position if I did not intend to fully commit to the Inquisition. We cannot fall back on borders. Antiva is as threatened as any country by the rebellions. If anything, the alliances I forged there may help our current cause. Will we have other causes? Do you think the Inquisition will continue after we seal the breach? If we prove ourselves by healing the breach, people may turn to us for other things. Protection, counsel, justice. The Inquisition offered these ones to those in need. Oh. What does your family do? What business are the Montilliers in exactly? We began as merchants. My ancestors founded the first trade route to Rivea. We once sent entire fleets across the Waking Sea. You want? But not anymore. Ah, no. Uh, these days, our vessels are a touch more modest. Do you believe I'm holy? Tell me, do you believe I was saved by Andraste at the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I should much like to believe so, Your Worship. The miracles Andraste... You're what now? <laughs> no, to picture. If it were truly her and the fate who saved you, well, in any case, many already believe you walk in the Maker's light. Okay, bye. Let's speak later. Goodbye. Okay. I think we've talked to everyone now. So we have some options. But first, we'll yeah, see. Well, let's collect everything we've. What is this? Coin, right? Uh, the boar fruit, a portion of the profits will be passed to you. Gold. Okay. saying something about... Colin? Hmm? I... <laughs> yes. Haven has limited space for our soldiers to train. Perhaps we could set up something over here. So, Ambas Ambassador Montelier, the Inquisition emissaries were a welcome addition to our vigil. As a token of my thanks, I am sending Ferelden arms for your troops. May the Maker grant you never need them. Okay, so we've got a long sword. Um, address the nobleman's concern. Sister Liliana, how I rejoice to see the colors of the Inquisition run the rabble out from my ancestral fields and straight into the woods of my neighbor, Ban Taraft, no less, as if they were guided by the hand of the Maker himself. I could not be better pleased, as promised, a reward for your excellent help in my time of lamation. Andraste, keep you in her heart. Right, so we used this guy. Got his money. Mm-hmm. Um, is no one else doing anything? Oh, I guess not. All right. So, we have Red Jenny. So that's a Sarah one. We have the Cult of Andraste. Remember that? That's the Dragon Cult. Uh, Truth or Dare at the Imperial Court. The Chantry Remains. Or another Red Jenny. What you thinking? Mm, let's do Dragon Cult. Oh, that's here. The Cult of Andraste. Before the Fifth Blight and the arrival of the Hero of Ferelden, Gleam, Haven was occupied by cultists who worshipped a dragon, one they believed to be Andraste Reborn. <laughs> Remember that, folks? Both the cultists and their dragon were long gone by the time the Chantry arrived to build the Temple of Sacred Ashes, but there may still be undiscovered passages in the mountains containing their relics. With a concerted search effort, uh, it might be possible to unearth, unearth something useful to the Inquisition. So Liliana is, this task, this is a task best left to a few select agents, knowledgeable, knowledgeable, la, la, knowledgeable regarding dangerous magics. I have just the ones in mind. Or Cullen, I'm leery of what we might find in these passages, but we have enough soldiers for a search. They will simply need to be careful. So soldiers or agents. Let's do Liliana. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what we have. Now where you want to go? So are we supposed to set up training grounds or something? Isn't that what Colin wants to do? Oh, that's just background conversation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so we have one here and we have a bunch over there. I guess let's do the one that's over here. Okay. Uh, aren't there four over here though? Uh, well, these are different. We'll, we'll see. You'll see. Okay. Um, so, I do not know how someone would come to this idea, but I can see the use. It is a large area to search, however. That was a memo from Joseph Josephine written on a note from Sarah, which reads, Know what ruins a party? Bees. I know a man who teaches how to jar them safe, but angry. Stinky. Not good. No good for honey, but great for throwing. He's somewhere south. Sarah has scribbled a jar of bees hitting someone in the face. Also, a butt. 
Uh, I can send runners along the bands. If this weapon can help, it will be found. It's too large an area to cover. Bounty hunters are a simpler bet. Cass will send Josephine. Because <laughs> she, she's the one who, who's part of it. And for Cullen, we have Truth or Dare, The Chantry Remains, or Red Jenny says Drop and Grab. What's a Chantry Remains? Okay. The confrontation with Mother Havara in the Val Royo market has the, had the desired effect, to a point. The Chantry's com- condemnation... Condem- oh my god. Of condemnation. The, yes. Of the Inquisition was lost and amid a flurry of speculation over the actions of Lord Seeker Lucius, as well as a divide in the opinions of the remaining Chantry's clerics. There are, however, clerics still loudly denouncing the Herald of Andraste. The Inquisition could leave them to their speeches, but dealing with them before the Chantry elects a new divine could be of benefit. So our only option right now is we should send a contingent of Inquisition soldiers to the Grand Cathedral. They can offer protection, and their visibility will remind the clerics that they are not out of our reach. Yeah. Okay. To work? Yeah. So these, you use our power that we have acquired to unlock, like, new areas to go to. Mm. So this would be uh, the Black Emporium, cost zero. Uh, we could go to the Storm Coast, is where the Iron Bull is. That costs four. Or this one, we can go rescue missing soldiers in Ferelden, which is going to be a whole other area, which cost eight. And then the other one was also four. Let's go to the Iron Bull. Okay. Yeah. You want to go get Bull? Let's do it. I want to go meet this Iron Bull guy. <clears throat> Okay, Sister Liliana. Lieutenant Harding led a small uh, complement of soldiers to the Storm Coast region to investigate reports of Grey Warden activity. She sent word that her party had established a camp near the shore, but have received nothing further. At this time, the status of Harding and her mission remains unknown. But also, we haven't heard back from Harding. So, who do you want to take? Uh, Solus, Varric, and Cassandra. Okay. Let's go get Bull. And with a name like that, I think you can assume he is another warrior. <laughs> mm. So he will be our second warrior. Oh, so is warrior. this a companion? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and there's actually one other companion we could go get this episode if we want. Your worship, for what it's worth, welcome <laughs> to the Storm Coast. I would have sent word sooner, but our efforts have been delayed. How so? There's a group of bandits operating in the area. They know the terrain, and our small party has had trouble going up against them. Some of our soldiers went to speak with their leader. Haven't heard back, though. I'll look into it. I'll do what I can to find out people. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Worship. That's a relief. The soldiers didn't have an I need people to stop to calling me Your Worship. <laughs> That's <laughs> insane. <laughs> with all this fuss, we haven't been able to conduct a proper search for the wardens either. Well, good luck, and enjoy the sea air. I hear it's good for the soul. Bye, Harding. Love you. Okay. But we are here for Bull. That's a dragon. What the hell? (laughs) (laughs) I did not sign up for this. For the game called Dragon Age? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, come here. Beat the system. Uh, oh, elf fruit. <laughs> We're back in the field. That means elf fruit. <laughs> Every chance we get. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Why I is hear there ya. a skull over there? Because that's one of those things again. Oh. Uh, if I can climb it, I'll do it. And it let me. Okay. I guess I'll go ahead and do this since it's here. Three. Oh, one. Two way out there. Oh, there's Bull and company. Don't mind me, I'm just looking through a skull. I can find it. Oh, I know it's, uh, it's over here. Okay. Got it! And we slide. Oh. 
Right. We leveled up. Also, I think Varric can get a skill point also. Amulet of Power, Varric only. Yes. So we get these for doing like specific quests related to them. This was from his war table mission, so mm. we give that to him. And he gets a skill point now. But so we can give him back this. Oh, uh, we do have another amulet. Okay, maybe we'll give you strength, then give you constitution. Okay. So what amulet do we have? We have the pack master, unless oh, okay. you want to give that to someone else. No, I like okay. I want it. Okay, because it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we have anything new? I guess I haven't checked this in a while. Oh, yes, actually. That is, oh, we can't wear it yet. Level eight. Okay. That is also better, though. Do you want to switch into this? Uh, what's everything else? Oh. Unless you want one of these. Okay, um, yeah, let's do the scout armor. Yeah, because everything else I think is still good, but a little less than mm. what we have. Can we get a helmet yet? That is better. Can do that. Okay, um, I don't think we... Yeah, I don't have anything new for you. Do have new stuff for you. Not necessarily better, unless you just like the looks of it more. It's not too much of a difference. Mm. So, whatever you prefer between these no, two. The one she's got is, is okay. fine. Oh, sorry. Right. And that's the best one still for you. Okay, cool. Do you have a helmet on? No, does... No, you don't either. Why don't I give you guys helmets? And, okay. Okay, check these really quick. This is still the best one, so keep that. Still the best one. Oh. That is better. Shard shield? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And this is probably still the best, right? Yeah, I think... It Yeah, I still think the sweetish fingers are better. They just do a little less damage. Nothing too crazy. Oh. Hey, I have Hagram. Oh, man. <laughs> and you lost it. <laughs> I mean, this might still count. That's the iron bull. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Prim. Right there. How'd we do? Five and six women. <laughs> <laughs> dead. Hello. That's what I like to hear. Hello, iron Let bull. Let the throat cutters finish up, then break out the casts. So, you're with the Inquisition, huh? Glad you could make it. Come on, have a seat. Drinks are coming. You must be iron bull. Iron bull, I presume. Yeah, the horns usually give it away. I assume you remember Chromisius Aclasi, my lieutenant. Good to see you again. Throat cutters are done, chief. Already? Have them check again. I don't want any of those Tevinter bastards getting away. No offense, Krem. <laughs> None taken. This bastard knows who his mother was. Puts him one up on you, Canari, right? So, you've seen us fight. We're expensive, but we're worth it. <laughs> and I'm sure the Inquisition can afford us. How expensive are you? How much is this going to cost me, exactly? Wouldn't cost you anything, personally. Unless you want to buy drinks later. 
Your ambassador, uh, what's her name? Josephine. We'd go through her and get the payments set up. Gold will take care of itself. Don't worry about that. All that matters is we're worth it. <laughs> you definitely seem useful. The Chargers seem like an excellent company. They are, but you're not just getting the boys. You're getting me. You need a frontline bodyguard. I'm your man. Whatever it is. Demons? Dragons? The bigger the better. And there's one other thing. Might be useful. Might piss you off. Ever hear of the Ben Hasra? I have, but no. <laughs> I've never heard of it. It's a Canary order. They handle information, loyalty, security, all of it. Spies, basically. Or, well, we're spies. The Bin Hasrath are concerned about the breach. Magic out of control like that could cause trouble everywhere. I've been ordered to join the Inquisition, get close to the people in charge, and send reports on what's happening. But I also get reports from Ben Hasrath agents all over Orlay. You sign me on, I'll share them with your people. Investigate. What can you tell us? What's in these Ben Hasrath reports you're offering to share? Enemy movements, suspicious activity, intriguing gossip. It's a bit of everything. Alone they're not much, but if your spy master is worth a damn, she'll put him to good use. She? <laughs> I did a little research. Plus, I've always had a weakness for redheads. <laughs> what about brunettes? <laughs> <laughs> you're hired. <laughs> All right, you're in. Excellent. Prem, tell the men to finish drinking on the road. The Chargers just got hired. What about the cuffs, Chief? We just opened them up with axes. Find some way to seal them. You're Tervinter, right? Try blood magic. We'll meet you back at Haven. <laughs> or you can get him right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? <laughs> um, I guess Farrick and Solus. I may... I don't want to put Varric back at camp, but I, I, I may have two frontline people, but it's fine for now. But I'm just saying for later, because right now I don't want to put Varric back at camp because I just don't want to get rid of him. But also at the same time, it's like <laughs> the good thing about this game is um, every camp we go to, we can switch out the party. So it, this is a good one to switch it up if you feel like it. Yeah. yeah, and everyone's pretty good, but definitely this is also one though. It's a little more important to have a balanced party. Because we get stuck in some areas, but with stuff we can easily go switch out. So don't be afraid of like all mages, all rogues, and like don't mm -hmm. feel like you need one of each type because we can always fix it if we need one. Yeah, because I I like the idea of having two people up, uh, two melee fighters. Yeah, and like in Origins, you know, we were a rogue, but we were a melee fighter. Yeah. So it was us and Alistair, but then we had two range fighters with. Well, no, we even had, no, we had Zevran, who was also oh, yeah, melee. Me melee. So we only had one range. Two rogues and a warrior, usually, and a mage. Yeah. yeah. So I like, I like the idea of having two melees. Yeah. However, you, I mean, this is your, whichever you want. But we did, did little ifs. So. Yes. What's your thing? Um, what's the, this um, so you can move faster while firing without sacrificing our accuracy, hey, which could be good. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. All right. And yes, Iron Bolt is a two-handed, and I think um, we could give him either of these, so he doesn't have any singular one for a mm -hmm. Vanguard or a Battle Master, but um, he is a two-handed weapon. So. Okay. I would definitely get him some of these. Okay. So we have block and slash. So, Go um, ahead and give it to him. And then this is mighty blow. Go ahead. Yeah. So this shield breaker. Um, and we've got flow of the battle. So critical hit reduces the cooldown times on his abilities. Okay. Um, that could be good for later. But right now I want to give him the, the shield breaker. Because we oh, have perfect. been fighting a lot of people with shields. Okay. So. And then that unlocked whirlwind. So you spin with your weapon outstretched. Uh, we've seen that before. I think um, Fenris had that. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty good one if you want it. Yeah, let's look at the Battlemaster though first. Okay. 
Battle Master. So grappling chain with a hook chain, a lot of muscle. You drag your target into arm's reach. You literally throw a chain at an enemy, bring it to you. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's do that. Okay. Um, and then... So this is crippling blows. So you know how to take the fight out of your... So critical hits leave your enemies weakened. Or when you attack a target from behind, you leave them slowed. Uh, let's do both of those. Okay. Perfect. And then, so he's got three in Battle Master and three in... And you've uh, got one point left. Oh, I should have only... Did you not get the... Oh, hands? did it not? It took it away. Okay, sorry. Okay. There we go. You are correct. So he has three in two-handed and three in Battle Master because since Cassandra is oh. already a Veil Guard... Yeah. Um... Or Vanguard, sorry. Veil Guard's the name of the fourth <laughs> game. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Sounds good. And then Varric gets one more point because of his amulet. So where do you want to put that? Um, let's, let's give him the, the one, the, yeah, the strafing shots. Right. Cool. Um, so we could explore here or we could go back to the Hinderlands and get our other companion. That um, I know is there, or... Let's explore here first, and, like, uh, get the shards and everything while we're here. Like, okay. let's go ahead and... Um, yeah, there's one right he here. Um, hopefully the save oh, works. Sorry, everyone. There was, uh, Lana-induced technical difficulties. <laughs> Lana made the game freeze. <laughs> Somehow by unplugging our mic. So... <laughs> Make sense of that if you yeah. can. Uh, we lost <laughs> desktop audio, froze the game because Lana unplugged the mic. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how, but it happened. She's a magician. Somewhere yes. across all that water is Kirkwall. <laughs> yeah. Make you miss home, make you miss Hawk. Anyways, let's get these shards. Like we talked about. Mm hmm. Marker's a little off. Yeah, you did. I did notice that you did that. <laughs> you like put it off to the side a little bit. My bad. But I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> Call me out. Oh, I, that one's way up there, right? Okay. Um, I guess we could go that way. <coughs> and deal with the rift. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I guess we will go up to this little house. Uh. Um, fun fact. Do you know, could you tell who was voicing the bull? Mm -mm. It's Freddie Prince Jr. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Which was the most random um, <laughs> casting, I think. I was so surprised when I first played this game that Fred from Scooby-Doo <laughs> is in this game. Yeah. Um, I did a project in the eighth grade on Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> so random <laughs> but also we don't like him anymore so oh do we not because of this game he made some really not great tweets oh no i didn't... Um, I can't tell you about what because it is actually a spoiler for ah. something that happens in this game but let's just say it um is anti-trans oh and it's really disappointing giving who his character is mm. that's who i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say uh, so, yeah, nobody actually voiced the Iron Bull, kind of like nobody vo voiced Cullen. They just are. It's weird how that works. Oh. Beware so of falling rocks. What was the Cullen thing? Oh, Cullen, Cullen's voice actor is a horrible person. Oh. Um, it didn't come out until, like, right after Inquisition, though, so that's mm -hmm. why he was able to do all three games, but uh, Bioware did come to the curb after that, and I... Just, just a bad person mm. for... Pretty much all the things like you could probably think of. Oh. Yikes. Yeah, Greg Ilias is his name. Go, yeah, I've never heard go of Go be mean to him, people. <laughs> he deserves it. Yeah, I, I've, I don't know Which who that is. Which sucks, because Sal Cullen is such a great character. Mm -hmm. But, like I said, he just voiced himself. It's crazy. Yeah, Cullen is Cullen. Yeah, Cullen just is. And the Iron Bull is just the Iron Bull. Yeah, it's weird. This game is so real. Look at him up there. <laughs> Whacking people. Um, so yeah. I love Bull. He's actually 
one of my usual um, is he romanceable? people. Um, he is. And, um, but he goes through health potions like a motherfucker. <laughs> Fair warning. My era shock dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> He is. Um, if you don't romance him, though, and you don't romance another companion, another companion will get with him. Ah! Um, which is a very interesting pairing. I won't tell you about it, though. So that will be a surprise if you go that right, or if you want to romance him. His romance is really fun. So, I, honestly, all the romances in this game, I, I do like all of them. So mm. it is, it's a hard choice. <laughs> Especially for your first time, you get just getting so many people thrown at you. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're dead. Shit. We should see that their families are notified. After we take their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the bandits have come further along the beach. Okay. Uh, bandit notes. These notes were found near murdered Inquisition soldiers. The paper is not crumpled or torn as though it were left behind instead of dropped. It's not our place to disagree. They're attempting to set themselves up along the shore, and we have orders. We are the sword, not the hand that wields it. You taught me that. If they're worthy, let them come with the mercy's crest. The blades of Hasserin, or Hesserin, uh, will listen. You will only get yourselves cast out, or worse. Our men were murdered by a group called the Blades of Hesserin. Hesserin. If you're My interested, man. it looks like we can challenge their leader. Okay, so we can go about saving our soldiers two different ways. So we can just go in and kill everyone, or we can make that necklace they talked about and just challenge the leader, which mm. is, like, how they operate. Mm -hmm. um, up to you. If there's different consequences to both. I think I would do the necklace one. Okay. Because, I mean, being like, hey, we're just the sword, not the hand that wields it, I'm like, yeah. That's in that case. Let me go see what we need for that. Uh, where's my table? There it is. So we're going to need a deep stalker hide. All right. I think I know where to this go for that. Also, might as well get your report. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. Uh, spider anchor. Sorry, spoiler. There, yes, there are spiders in this area. It's where the steep, deep stalkers are. Spoiler, because it's the deep roads. Don't, this map is not filled out at all, but I think I can go to the right over here for both of those. So let's do that. Also, let's get my favorite stone in the game because it makes your clothing green. Serpent <laughs> stone. <laughs> There's also a really pretty pink one. We haven't found that one yet. I think that's in a different area. Um, let me do this really quick. So a lot of people complain sometimes that the companions' dialogues get, um, like they don't trigger when they're supposed to. It's like a bug. And some people say that making all of your journal entries marked as red is a hack to help it. Mm -hmm. Like they just get so bogged down maybe that with quests, I'm going to try and keep up. So if you ever see me doing this, that's why. Um, it's because it's supposed to help with like, companions talking to each other somehow mm. in the coding i don't know it's worth the try though because <laughs> i like our companions There's talking to each there. other yep There's more. <clears throat> and there is a cave over here i was correct so good and there's another one. Oh no it's a chest but there is another spindle weed uh, over there somewhere i saw it a second ago oh. yeah there <laughs> Oh, there's two! Spoiler alert, there's lots of spindle around here. <laughs> I'm going towards the cave over here. Uh, uh, how did I get through here? Yeah. Looking for a deep stalker hut. Okay, prepare yourself. 
Yeah, I see all the webs. Luckily, it's pretty dark, so maybe you don't actually have to see them. I don't know. Is that worse or better? That's so much worse. Okay, then I will turn the lights on. <laughs> maybe. Ah! Get him, Iron Bull! <laughs> he talked to him like a dog. <laughs> Get him, boy! <laughs> You used it with the same infliction you did with blue and bow. <laughs> How do your people put on shirts? We don't, usually. It's pretty hot where we come from. But I can get into anything with a loose collar. Just gotta ease one horn through and then angle it up. There's a term for getting caught unprepared that translates to running around with clothing stuck on your horns. Colorful. <laughs> also, Solus, you're also not wearing a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Totally are bad though. <laughs> are bad. <laughs> it's the only mage we have. I'm sorry. I'll make you some later. Um, I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not either. Put the lanky elf in the slutty clothing. Okay, was that it? There's nothing really. There's no deep stalkers here. Oh shit. Okay, there was just one singular spider. Okay. This cave was a bust. Yeah. Hmm. I think there's another one down. A lot of webbing for one little spider. Yeah, <laughs> he was busy. <laughs> <laughs> Friend or foes? Foes. Always foes. Eh, you saw it. Hey, Varric did it too. That was the grappling chain in use. <laughs> Shield break him. <laughs> he just got yanked. <laughs> Great work, team. Let me look. Okay, looking for a cave. Oh. It's like, what is it saying up here? Leech. Leech. Okay. So. I think there's another one in that area. Yeah, I heard the dragon that again. Was spooky. <laughs> so uh, spooky. Oh, there's some blood lotus down there. I'm getting it. I knew you wanted me to. <laughs> Listen, I love a lotus, okay? Oh, this is cool. I, I may not know what blood lotus is used for, but I know that in my heart, I love lotus. <laughs> this is true. Oh, did I tell you I have... It's on my ring. If you can see. Yeah, I have a lotus, lotus ring. It is pretty. But did you tell me what? Um, I have a tattoo appointment Wednesday. No, you didn't. <laughs> So if you're in the area at the time and not at work and want to come by, what I'll time? be there. It's at, it's at 1, but I have the blocked until 4. Ah. So. Yeah. We don't know how long it'll actually take. I think I go to lunch at 12 usually. Ah. 
I know you've been wanting to like meet Lacey. And I do. I you do. never know when she's actually at the shop, but I do know she will be there because mm. she will be working on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you ever get one for a weekend or something, let me know. Yeah, I just let her pick, so mm. and then she's usually pretty busy on the weekend. So I usually go during the weekday because she can get me in quicker. Mm -hmm. But I will keep that in mind. I um. So the main goal is I'm getting a stray tattoo, uh, but if I have time for filler, I'm doing Baldur's Gate. Ah! Some, maybe some spells and some uh, flora, some flowers from Baldur's Gate. Mm -hmm. I just kind of told her the general idea for like filler stuff, but told her she has creative freedom and liberty <laughs> with it, so I kind of hope we did because I kind of want to see what she came up with. I bet it would look awesome. I'm so excited for, like, my floral tattoo. Like, I'm ready. <laughs> Do it. I've been, like, looking at some stuff on Pinterest to, like, also, as kind of, like, inspo photos. That's Duolingo. <laughs> <laughs> you just did it by reflex, <laughs> <Yeah>. purely. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah, here's another cave. Maybe there was one. Hope there's a deep stalker here. Oh my god. See, I was like, kind of okay. like this style, like smaller and then more watercolory, but like inside of a stamp and then do like all the flora. Yeah, uh, I like that. And that's just for me personally. I really <laughs> like that idea. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Yeah, that's beautiful. I like that placement too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That was going to be my hunter hunter thigh tattoo, but maybe I could do hunter hunter on the thigh and then flowers up the hip. Who knows? <laughs> or I could even do it up this hip with the raven cycle because that's very like nature. If I do, tiny, you'll be the first to know. Yeah, so tiny is Bull's nickname to Varric. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, those would be cool tattoos. I'm excited. I love getting a tattoo. Me too. I am so excited and nervous to start my Dragon Age um, sleeve. <sighs> Are you a deep stalker? Yes. I need you. And first. Look. You're fine. Chill out. Oh, they didn't give me anything? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> uh, I just need one hide. Can, oh, okay. Nearly? What you doing? <laughs> is she good? Why is she floating? Why are you doing this? <laughs> okay, oh. there you go. <laughs> it's a glitch that happens, but it cracks me up every fucking time. <laughs> It's like you think it frozen mid jump and it just does this little <laughs> dangly thing. <laughs> it's so silly. Okay, maybe there's more in here. <laughs> We're a spider. Yeah, that was terrifying without the light. <laughs> Sorry. You're a deep stalker there. Come on. The way it just like crawled towards you, you could only see its face for a second. That was freaky. He didn't drop anything either. Like, that's the scariest thing ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know where the lights are in this. The lightning makes it light. Who's lightning? The storm. Oh. <laughs> the storm goes. We're inside a cave though. They have like windows, see? Stained glass windows in this cave for some reason. Oh. I guess I do need to heal. I can't. Well, I can't die. Yeah, I was trying. It wouldn't let me. Is it just the spiders or is there one deep stalker hide? Come on! <sighs> spider. Well, we still need the ichor. We do, but it's not. <sighs> okay, we did it. Now we can go challenge their leader free to loop this campsite. This is a terrible place to camp, I gotta be so honest. <laughs> this seems like it was the worst. Eh. Eh. 
iron bowl, you're a little bloody there. I like it. So it's fine. It's hot. <laughs> Come here, iron bowl. Let me look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Step into the light. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No, I think if anyone's the cat of the group, it's probably Zealous. And maybe someone you haven't met yet. Iron Bull is definitely the dog. <laughs> dog of the group. Okay, well, I can't get past you, Zealous, so. Zealous, move! <laughs> you do your little dancey dances, and I'll just fire around you, I suppose. <laughs> Let me in! Guys! You guys got it, I guess. Get out of the door! Nope, I don't want to be bull. <laughs> Move Silas. Move Varric. Where am I now? Okay. Good. <laughs> what? Aww. It was bound to happen, wasn't it? I need that though. So, unfortunately we're going to have to destroy something. Okay, we have two of these, so get out of here. Yeah, need that. Okay, but we can, should be able to craft now, so let's go back to camp. That'll free up two spots, <laughs> maybe. Nothing. Another inventory. Let me pop back over here really quick, because I know we like to loot. <laughs> we want the money. We do. <laughs> um, I guess I will just have to do an inventory check really quick before we sell a bunch of stuff. Okay, so I'll do this as quick as I can. Okay. Now we can go back. <laughs> Same team we just mm -hmm. had, or do you want to mix it up? Yeah, Iron Bull, Solus, and uh, Varric. Okay. Okay, and they leveled up. <clears throat> Where are we going? You want to go two-handed or about master? Uh, let's do two-handed. Okay, so we can upgrade either of the ones we have: flow of battle, or get the whirlwind. Whirlwind. Okay. So, let's spirit or ice? Uh, okay. We got him the revival, so let's yes. start putting more stuff into his eyes because we haven't been doing that. We've been putting everything into spirit. Okay. So, we can get Fade Step, that you let invisible waves of magic carry you forward, burn, blurring ahead the distance. Winter Stillness, so by standing still, you enter into a meditative state that restores your mana. Or Mana Surge, barrier explodes into wild magic when enemies destroy it. And the blast yes. freezes them. Okay. And Varric, where do you want to go? Bow or Poison? Poison. So... We've got look like it hurt. Uh, whenever you score a critical hit, you get stamina or fighting dirty. All of your sunder and poison effects last longer. Yes, fighting dirty. All right. Good deal. And is this... This is what it is. All right, let's find these bandits and deal with them. Oh, um... I do need to be wearing... Until this quest, and then we can sell it. So yeah, it was optional. Challenge the bandit leader while wearing the Mercy's Crest, or we can just find them and kill them all. Mm -hmm. But, might as well do it their way. They're just following orders. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can climb up. Mm -hmm. 
Well, are these the bandits? <laughs> yeah, these ones, unfortunately, we have to kill. <laughs> Don't really leave us much choice. <laughs> Snug's here too. One of my favorite songs. <laughs> it's so nice. Stupid bird is ruining it though. <laughs> I swear I've dreamed that sound before. You only hear it here, but it's constant. <laughs> here it is. Oh, there's people hanging from there. Yeah. Someone's come with a challenge. Yes. The others fail. I will not. So you would challenge the blades of Hasarian? Yeah, I represent the Inquisition. You killed soldiers of the Inquisition. You did. We cannot let this stand. You want justice? Claim it. I'm going to. No, leave me alone. Go somewhere else. That one dog is all over you. you <laughs> <laughs> that dog really does not like Varric. And he is not attacking it at all. Priorities, I guess. He wants to help the team. Okay. Let's go. Now this dog has got it out for Varric specifically. Get him, Iron Bull. Still just after Varric. What did you do to this dog, Varric? I <laughs> did I ever mention that I can't swim? <laughs> no. of Hasarian are at your service. If you want eyes on the coast, here we are. Anything to report? Do you have anything to report? Nothing of note, your worship. Okay. Investigate it? You work for me now, question mark? You and your blades are loyal to the Inquisition. We're loyal to you. I suppose that's the same thing, your worship. It's that simple? So there's no ill will over what happened with your former boss? The man was a bastard. You're not the first to stand up to him. You're just the first to win. And we're happy with that. Fair enough. Besides, I would rather swear my life well. to the Herald of Andraste. 
That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I should go. You know where to find them. All right. Now we don't have to fight them all around <laughs> when we see them. So cool. Right. It's just a girl. I remember them. You know. I know. We'll be safe here. Okay. A bitter note, uh, presumably penned by the former leader. I do not care what the Inquisition claims. They lie to serve their own purpose. Do not listen to their corruption. These hills belong to the Blades of Hisarion. And have I not been good to you? You follow my will as you would the will of Andraste. So you have sworn. Sounds like a dick. Mm hmm So. Initiation for the Blades. The oath sworn by new converts to the leader of the Blades. We were lost as where we are. Grant me purpose. You are unhearing as where we are. Let me obey. You are the sword as we are. As are we all. Will be in her name. Okay. So we did that. Um, do we want to go get our other companion that we can I get? Want the, I, well, I thought we were going after the shards. That's kind of what I was hoping to the do. The one is way far away and there are 13 here. You want to get them all? Oh, okay. I guess. <laughs> we'll yeah. eventually get Let, them all. Let's just go to our companion then and then talk to Iron Bull and the companion at uh, Haven. Okay. Oh, I guess we could do this actually first too. That the wash towers were built. Oh yeah, we should probably tell him that. <laughs> like, hey, by the way, that request you made, we did it a while ago. <laughs> yeah, we forgot to tell you, but it has been completed. <laughs> did you notice them? <laughs> you probably saw them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then we could probably um, get the horse master then if we wanted. Word for you. Not right now. Busy. I have plans. <laughs> I have a strict schedule. I'm sticking to it. Yes. It's easy to get distracted in this game. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> hey, buddy. We did that thing. If those refugees are going to defend themselves, they'll need real defense. Mm -hmm. I did it. I've got a few. I built the watchtowers. I built watchtowers in the areas you recommended. Nicely done. That will give both your refugees and our farmers some warning next time trouble pays a visit. I'll speak to the master and have weapons sent to your people at the crossroads. Okay. Cool. Um. Hey, Hannibal proves. Hey. Hello, do you want to come work for me? The says you got rid of those demon cursed walls. It should be safer for our farmers now. You've held up your end of our bargain inquisition. You'll have my whole stable and good hands to go with it. Will you join the Inquisition? You sent your stable hands and your horses to the Inquisition. What about you? Well, you've cleaned up the area, and I can't say I'm not tempted. Still, it feels wrong to abandon my land to go play horse master again. We can help. You know, the Inquisition comes across horses from all over Thedas. You don't say. All right, Inquisition. I'll look to your horses myself. Never let it be said that Redcliffe gave less than the best. Just let me settle matters here and say goodbye to my wife. I'll meet you at Haven. Hey. Okay. So if you, I went really fast, but there was a little crow. So you were only able to recruit him with that option. And that was your only option uh, to get the agent is because you got the underworld knowledge mm. that we unlocked. So that's what that was. And that helped us recruit him. Otherwise, I think you have to have Cassandra in your party and she can convince him. Oh. So that looked, we lucked out with that. But yes, we want to go here. No. Oh, I don't know where we're going yet. Right here is where we want to go. Okay, so we have a camp we could also set up then. So let's do that. And then we'll go look for this warden that Liliana wants us to find. Do we know this warden? Uh, no. No, we will not do this warden. Thank you. Uh, because all of the wardens have disappeared. <laughs> Apparently. Well, since there's one left, I didn't know if one of the, it was one that we knew. Right. <laughs> like, no. Shock, surprise, it's Carver. <laughs> <laughs> Would be crazy. <laughs> Varric just shoots him on sight. <laughs> 
You know why. <laughs> and walks away. <laughs> There's another skull here. I hear ya. Not a bad spot to camp. You right. Give me a minute. I just need to do something. Do, do, do. There are enemies up ahead. No, there are a lot of enemies up ahead. And a ram. Alright. Is this kind of tiger? I hope so. Well, not if he gets on the high ground. <laughs> oh, didn't even need that. Sweet. Don't attack the ram. Leave it alone. Oh, oh hey, hey, Abel. <laughs> <laughs> Intense eye contact, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, Get off my high ground. Go somewhere else. <laughs> okay, that works too. You got yanked. <laughs> Good job, Love Iron to Bull. See it, honestly. It's one of my favorite things in this game. Lotus. There's loot up here. Oh, that was an enchanted war cry, something which I think Cassandra, Cassandra has, has war cry. Yeah, so we'll have to remember to give her that instead of her rally, maybe because she doesn't have rally. So that works. This, which is another one of the big things we're chasing, but over here is our warden. In the water? No, oh. <laughs> it's just a general area. Lie oh. there and there, no gaps. Hello. Remember how to carry your shields. You're not hiding, you're holding. Otherwise, it's useless. Blackwall? Warden Blackwall? You're not. How do you know my name? Who said <laughs> that? Thanks for protecting me. That's it. Help or get out. We're dealing with these idiots first. Conscripts, here they come. Good work, conscripts. Even if this shouldn't have happened, they could have... Well, thieves are made, not born. Take back what they stole. Go back to your families. You saved yourselves. You're no farmer. Why do you know my name? Who are you? The Inquisition has questions. I'm here investigating Grey Oh, I should have said that's who. <laughs> depends on who you ask. Yeah. It's true. The Maker's balls. The Wardens and the Divine. That can't. 
No, you're asking so you don't really know. First off, I didn't know they disappeared. But we do that, right? No more blight, job done, wardens are the first thing forgotten. But one thing I'll tell you, no warden killed the Divine. Our purpose isn't political. I wasn't accusing wardens yet. I'm not here to accuse. Not yet. I just need information. I've only found you. Where are the rest? I haven't seen any wardens for months. I travel alone, recruiting. Not much interest because the Archdemon is a decade dead, and no need to conscript because there's no blight coming. Treaties give wardens the right to take what we need, who we need. These idiots forced this fight, so I conscripted their victims. They had to do what I said, so I told them to stand. Next time, they won't need me. Grey Wardens can inspire. Make you better than you think you are. So what's next for us? Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> the treaties sound powerful. <laughs> yeah, I was just... Look, I don't remember. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, this these will continue though. So if you want to do any of these, yeah, let's investigate. Okay. Why haven't you disappeared? Why haven't you gone missing like the rest of them? Well, maybe I was going to, or maybe there's a new directive, but a runner got lost or something. My job was to recruit on my own. Plan to stay that way for months, years. Investigate. Where might they go? Do you have any idea where the other wardens could have gone? Maybe they return to our stronghold at Weishaupt? That's in the Anderfels, a long way north. I don't really know. Can't imagine why they'd all disappear at once, let alone where they disappear to. The treaty sound powerful? I wasn't aware Grey Wardens <coughs> could take whatever they want. It's complicated. If there's a blight, everyone has to help the effort to fight it. I the do remember the treaties from game one. Outside of blights, <laughs> Gleam used those. <laughs> she sure did. Uh, so what's next for us? <laughs> well, thank you, Warden Blackwall. But now where does this leave us? Inquisition. Agent, did you say? Hold a moment. The Divine is dead and the sky is torn. Events like these, thinking we're absent is almost as bad as thinking we're involved. If you're trying to put things right, maybe you need a warden. Maybe you need me. Yes, join the Inquisition. Ask this, though, because he has a good line. Oh, okay. How can you alone help? The Inquisition needs all the support it can get. But what can one Grey Warden do? Save the fucking world if pressed. That's what my dog that? dreaming. Maybe fighting demons oh. from the sky <laughs> is something like, I'm what practicing is that? at. But show me someone who is. And like I said, there are treaties. Maybe this isn't a blight, but it's bloody well a disaster. Some will honor them. Being <laughs> She's a warden hard. means something to a lot of people. I always yeah. like that line because it makes me think of my warden every time I play. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, we can fucking save the world of pressed because we did. <laughs> yes, join the Inquisition. Warden Blackwall, the Inquisition accepts your offer. Good to hear. We both need to know what's going on. This is our final Perhaps warrior. I've been keeping to myself for too long. This warden walks with the Inquisition. So is he the one laying back in the chair? Uh, no, no, he is the, he's one, the one standing laughing. up laughing. Okay, yes, I, I see that Sandra. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's do Solace, Iron Bull, and the warden. Yeah. Okay. Which means we need to figure out his character. Okay, um, he is, I believe, weapon and shield, but he doesn't have anything in any, so if you want him to be two-handed, we can, or we can keep him weapon and shield. Let's do weapon and shield, because okay. if we're going to use Iron Bull a lot... Um, one and one? It, yeah. Okay. So... Shield wall. Mm -hmm. uh, the one where you push him. <laughs> uh, where you push. Was that... Oh, the charging bull? Oh, okay. So you, do you want to give him then Vanguard? Like yes. Cassandra? Okay. Yeah, because then uh, so... Iron Bull will have uh, Battlemaster. We'll do that. Okay. Yeah. So now do we want to do more Vanguard or more Weapon Shield? Let's do more Weapon Shield. Okay. Um, so we have Payback Strike. Yeah, let's just 
do that. Okay. Um, and then we have the the bear, well, the war, the no flanking yes, one. Yes, yes. Okay. That was good. And then we have shield bash, which is always good uh -huh. from the other games. Okay, yes. Yeah? Okay. Uh -huh. And then let's put two more points in Vanguard. Okay. So we have challenge, is where you um, cross about taunting a targeted enemy. Or we have untouchable defense. They can't hit what they can't hit. You get a bonus to guard, which uh -huh. is always good. Um, any foe that attacks you in melee is going to bleed, taking a portion of it. Your party does more damage to taunted targets, which is good if you taunt. Um, okay, so those are the ones we can get, or we can upgrade something. Um, where's Warcry? Uh, we have it already. Oh, okay. What well, I mean, Rally. Where's Rally? What is that? Rally, I think, might be Battlemaster. Or I'm lying. Is it just... Huh. You ask a good question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is no? Huh. Is it under Warcry as one of the upgrades? Maybe. Draw strength from your Warcry? No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I but guess. I guess it, if you, which one of these do you want to go for maybe? And we'll figure out where to put. So this is livid. So the more foes nearby, the harder you fight, the tougher you get. Or we have bodyguard where you accept blows meant for allies taking a portion of the damage. So you could potentially like protect a mage or a rogue uh, or something. Let's the livid. You want to go towards that? So yeah. then we probably want to get either untouchable defense or it'll cost you. If we get it'll cost you, we might be able to get livid right here and now. Because yeah. We have two points. Sure. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Cool. Blackwall, do we have anything that you could take a sword a lot of it through? You, nope, you can't. Well, you can have this shield. Okay. And you can have not yet. Next level up, you can have that. Okay. Oh, um, I did give you War Cry. So do you want to give this to him or Cassandra? Mm -hmm. him? We'll give it to him. Okay. Oh right, we need to get our nails back. Okay. Okie dokie. So you said you want to go back and talk to the new kids? No? Yeah. Okay. We can do that. Go back to Haven. I have some little chit chats. Yes, we love a chit chat. Let's talk to Blackwell first and then save the Iron Bowl for last. Okay. That's easy. They're both kind of in the same area. So. Cool. And funny enough, it's where we kind of load in at. They're both right over here. <laughs> There's Blood. We can talk to Krim too. And there's black hole over here. So, haven't saved in a while. Let's see. Uh, hello. Maker, look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it. To be that close. I was lucky. <laughs> if I hadn't been saved by the Inquisition soldiers, I don't know what would have happened. Inquisition soldiers? That's not what I've heard. I have to admit, I thought you'd be... Human? Yes. Mm. At least you're honest. Being up front is better than knife ear. It was a foolish thought. Should have known better than to say anything. It's what you do and how you do it that's important. Just one question then. How do you think you fit in with all this? <laughs> I want peace. I just want to help stop the war. Try to put things back in order. A worthy goal, one I'm happy to support. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. I've heard rumors of abandoned warden camps all over these parts. If we have time, I'd like to take a look. See if there's anything we can salvage. No. 
strangely charming. <laughs> You're oddly charming for a man I found wandering the forest. I always thought myself more odd than charming. But I'll take a compliment from a lady. They're hard to come by these days. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the last one. You can have more if you like. Ah, he I'm approved of that. <laughs> well, I uh, well. <laughs> I, was not I love that. flustering the men in this Thanks game. It's so good. I'll have to consider it carefully. <laughs> Let's talk about you. I want to hear more about you. To yours, my life will seem dull indeed. Where are you from? Your name, Blackwall, doesn't sound Orlesian. Marcher, then, Ferelden. I was from the Free Marchers originally. Markham, that was a long time ago. Another life. So you have a past. I hear that many wardens were once criminals. You're right. And when you join, your past is forgotten, so let's leave it that way. Investigate. Why did you become a warden? Why did you join the wardens? Because they remember honor and sacrifice. Words that have little meaning to the rest of us. Because they lay down their lives for those they have sworn to protect. We all need to believe there are such men in the world. I needed to believe I could be one of them. Um, <laughs> we're having a serious conversation. I just saw like a nug just run across <laughs> the background. <laughs> Animals always be doing something. <laughs> um, I don't know. I want to do that one just because he was like, leave the past forgotten. So I'm like, okay, we can save it to your better friends. Okay, yeah. yeah. We can continue this discussion at another time. Very well. Okay. Unless you had something else you wanted to ask him. Mm -mm. Okay. Then we'll go to the bull. Have you seen the horses, Master Dennis and the Inquisition? They're magnificent. Better than what you ride in Arnsberg? Well, <laughs> oh, you noble boys never change. <laughs> Y'all are too close to my steed. Back up. Hey, you're here. It's good to be back at work, Inquisition. And lucky you have me. You like my elk? In lesser hands, you'd be in trouble. Haven can't support the mounts you need, but I can. Like your confidence. How are the horses? How are your charges? Well supplied? Haven is groaning under the weight. He wasn't built for this. We will make it serve. That's fair. Any news? Heard anything worth noting? Too busy to hear things, and that's how I like it. All right, bye. Farewell. Make her be with you. Hey, Iron Bull. <laughs> They've got good form. Cullen's putting his Templar training to good use. I didn't know he was a Templar. Did Cullen tell you he was a Templar? He's not wearing the armor. He didn't have to. Might not be a Templar shield, but it's a Templar holding it. He angles the shield just a bit down. Helps direct fire or acid away, so it doesn't spray right into your face. Kanari learned the same thing when we trained to fight to Vinter Mages. Your Templar's doing good work. Yes, he is. I'm impressed by what Cullen has accomplished with the troops. Damn right. It takes time to build a group into a team, but he's got their loyalty. Now he just needs them to make a decent shield wall, and they'll be good to go. Biggest problem for the Inquisition right now isn't on the front line. It's at the top. You've got no leader. No Inquisitor. Do we need one? The Inquisition has done all right so far without an Inquisitor. That's because all we've needed so far is damage control. Reaction. A group can handle that. Once you've sealed the breach, it's going to be time to make decisions. Someone's going to have to step Spoilers, up. Spoilers, I wonder who. Ah, who knows? Maybe you seal the breach. The Tantry gets off its ass and all those soldiers go home and get fat. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> it won't. <laughs> but it could. What's going on? Investigate. <clears throat> Tell me of the Ben Hasrath. I'd like to know more about your work with the Ben Hasrath. Ben Hasrath is actually a general term. You've got the secret police who investigate problems inside our territory. You've got the re-educators who take people with problems <laughs> and fix their minds. Brene. <laughs> or make them disappear. 
You know those eye trackers we talk about? <laughs> oh, I've been staring. <laughs> re-educators? How do the re-educators work? Well, I only know the basics. Wasn't my area. That said, keep a man awake long enough. Ask the right questions, give the right potions, and you can get him to say anything. You don't need blood magic or demons to change someone's mind. We're a lot more fragile than we'd like to believe. Uh, sweet. Is it really that easy? You can alter someone's beliefs that easily. One of my friends was a re-educator. He said that every memory is like the page of a book. When you examine a memory, you're turning to that page, and when you're there, the page is laid bare. Write a few notes in the margins of the page, erase a word here and there, and your whole outlook changes. Always felt a little weird reading after that conversation. None sound like you? None of those sound exactly like you. Yeah, I was a special case. They sent me to Saharan because they needed someone who could fight and hunt down problems. That whole island was a sack of cats. Incursions from Tevinta, Talvashath, and native rebels fighting both sides. And in the middle, me. Trying to wrangle the rebels and restore order. Sounds difficult. I can't imagine that was easy. Nope. I hunted down <laughs> nope. a lot of rebels. <laughs> Lost a lot of friends to the Vince, or the Fog Warriors, or the Talvashath. One day I woke up and couldn't think of a damned reason to keep doing my job. Turn myself into the re-educator. That was brave. Not many people would have the courage to do that. I thought about letting some rebel kill me, but I couldn't give any of those bastards the satisfaction. The Ben Hasarth ordered me to go to Orlay, ostensibly as a Talvashan, and work undercover. That's how I ended up here. It means I got to meet you. I'm glad you're here, Boo. Me too. If you ever need to talk more about all this, let me know. Nah, it was a long time ago. Thanks, though. I think we can flirt with him again if you ask about okay. Kunari. Okay, investigate. Tell me about the Kunari. I'd like to know more about the Kunari. You write a book? I want to know more about you. It's your culture, and I'd like to know you better. You could just ask. I am. <laughs> all right. What do you want to know? <laughs> So this is also a good opportunity if you just are curious about learning more about the Kunari because we know them but we haven't really got to learn a lot about them so I do mm -hmm. think talking to Bull is interesting but you don't have to go through it all unless you're just interested but I know you kind of like the Kunari. I so do. I want to say this is like the first real opportunity to like learn deep Kunari. So if I don't do any of this now can I do it later? Um, or is this like something I need to go through now? Yeah, yeah, you could still probably do it later. We can always come back. I do think maybe this we can flirt with him again. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay, yeah. then let's just do the do you not marry one. I've heard there's no marriage among the Kunari. Yeah, that's true. Kunari love our friends like anyone does, but we don't have sex with them. Kunari don't have sex? <laughs> oh, we definitely have sex. There are Tamasrins who pop your cork whenever you need it. Uh, really? <laughs> Seriously? Yes. It's not a big deal like it is here. It's like... <laughs> I don't know. Going to see a healer. Sometimes it's this long, involved thing. It takes all day. Leaves you walking funny. Other times you're in and out in five minutes. Thank you. <laughs> see you next week. Yeah. You don't know true passion? So, you've never really made love? Connected with someone in both body and soul? I don't know. One time they used this thing called the Sato Nerapan. It's a leather-wrapped rod on a harness. <laughs> that wasn't really my soul. Also, there were more than two. <laughs> my god. <laughs> okay, bye. That's a lot to take in, fella. See you later, boy. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know what to do with that. Okay, well. 
let us uh, wrap this up here. Okay. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed. How are you liking it so far? I love it. Okay, yeah, great. I'm glad. I'm enjoying this. Like I said, it's a little more dialogue heavy than the others, but I personally love yeah. the dialogue. And I love talking to all the characters. They have such strong personalities, and I love that. But I just wanted to check in. Yes. No, I am I'm thoroughly <laughs> enjoying this. <laughs> I like flirting with everyone, too. <laughs> yes, flirting is so fun. And I can romance a canary. You can. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that, I think, since, like, game one. <laughs> it's just true. I, I always had a thing for Stin. I think I just wasn't, like, super loud about it. I think Alistair consumed me. It's but... <laughs> but yes, yes, you can. And then just the air shock. Ooh. And I will say, you can also romance a Canary in Vilgard, which is oh, very fun. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.